Hey, this is Chris with vidsociety.com, and in this video, I'm going to do a continuum review for you. This is Jono Armstrong's latest product. It's an online webinar software tool, which is really cool because right now I'm paying $500 a year for Ever Webinar. So I was uh, kind of disappointed to see this product come out only two months after I had already purchased Ever Webinar. Otherwise, I would definitely be using this product instead. So what this tool does is allows you to promote high ticket products. And it also has YouTube training on how to get a bunch of traffic to your webinar uh, or to the products webinar that you're promoting. Uh, so you can make those sales. And a lot of people starting to realize that you can make one sale of a high ticket item and it's more than making 15, 20 sales of a low ticket item and you're putting in the same amount of work. So that's why these high ticket product promotions are becoming so popular and webinar software is so popular. All the huge high ticket items that you're seeing on uh, many of these affiliate networks, they all use webinars to promote them and that's why. It really brings people in, it gives them a full view of what it is and how it works and they're more likely to convert on it. And so that's what this whole package is all about is putting together high ticket webinars with the built-in continuum webinar software and then how to drive traffic with it using youtube ads all the training and everything's included with this the front end product i believe is only about 17 dollars. i'll put a link uh, below this video that'll take you to my website and you can find the details of the pricing of this product as well as the upsells and pick up some really cool bonuses that'll help uh, benefit you even more with continuum so this is inside the dashboard this is the training section. There's also going to be access to the uh, webinar software, which I'll show you here in a minute. But you got a welcome video, which basically introduces you to it, and you can join a live training call here. The continuum walkthrough and software is right here. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Let me click on the video, open this up in a new tab so it'll be ready. And then you got your setup process, which talks about getting your affiliate link, setting up the webinar, introduction to AdWords and essential pixels, creating your thank you page, landing page, and checking your funnel. And all this is done with the use of Groove Funnels. You also got, um, see that, that was set up. You got your training videos. This here is, these two videos here are really, really good, especially placements and keywords. And what this does is it goes over YouTube ads. So if you've been wanting to learn YouTube ads, watch this video. I can't recommend it enough. These videos here, I'm, I've been in part of uh, Jono's Ministry of Freedom for a few weeks now, and they go really in depth into YouTube ads. And so I, this is one of the videos that changed everything for me about YouTube ads. You can see the video is over nine minutes long. And if we okay. just... Now we're gonna put the video change the campaign. I'm just gonna choose the key created. That's it for this video. So basically what he does in this video is takes you through the full setup of using placements and keyword campaigns in YouTube ads, which can drastically reduce your cost per click. It can increase your conversions and target the right people. And so I highly recommend watching this video when you get started with all this, learning to use YouTube ads to drive traffic because you're really going to build up your email list and get more conversions when you do this. Now, let me jump into the Continuum Auto Webinar software. This is the dashboard. Um, I'm not crazy about the dashboard and how it looks. I wish it was a little bit neater because everything just kind of looks like it's, it's bundled up here, but it's not. There's different sections for each webinar. But either way, it gives you a lot of details here. You can have like an image put in here for each webinar so you can see easier what each one of these are. You can set up traffic sequences, see comments, stats. You can go to the event. Um, you can edit the event. You can trash it, whatever. So everything's here. But what I want to do is take you inside and show you how to set up one so you can see all the options available. Now, the first thing you'll want to do is come down here to settings and enter all of your settings information for your account because that's going to have a little bit of an effect on your webinars, such as integrating your autoresponder service. So you can send out reminder emails before the webinar and even send out emails after the webinar to encourage them to come back and buy it if they didn't buy the product that you're promoting. So what you want to do is come up here and click on create auto webinar. And this is the setup process. So the first thing you're going to do is give it a title. So for this example, let's just say we're going to be promoting the Ministry of Freedom course. I'll just type in MOF. You can put in a description here. It is optional. You can add an event photo, which uh, is what I showed you on the last screen that you, that'll show up on the dashboard. I usually don't do this. 
and then your source video. So you got two options here. You can either upload a video of your own. Maybe you have your own product or service you want to promote through a webinar. You can upload that or you can also choose from one of the webinar videos that are already included in the front end, which are these. Now, if you purchase one of the upsells, I can't remember which one it is, maybe two, I think, it's, it's on my website, um, you can get more webinars for more products added here. So you don't have to go around and trying to find the products that have the webinars. They're already going to be here. They're already going to be integrated. You just select them. And so let's just say, for example, we're promoting the Ministry of Freedom. What I would do is just select the webinar video here and it automatically adds it and you can preview it here and watch it if you want to it's two hours long I don't recommend it um, and then what you can do is get down here and add your affiliate link so once you sign up and get your affiliate link you want to come in here give it a title put your affiliate link here click add URL and then you want to come down here and select the day you want this webinar to run now the settings that I choose I always click on reoccurring so it, it redoes it every day and I'll normally do around 11 a.m and 7 p.m. And that's because a lot of webinars are one to two hours long. So you wanna make sure people are up and about uh, when you start it, so 11 a.m. And you wanna make sure it's early enough in the evening so they're not up too late watching it. Otherwise they may close it before it finishes. And then you can also come down here and choose watch now. And this is really important. I highly recommend you put this here. And what this will do is allow them to watch the video right now if they want to they can watch the webinar instead of waiting until 11 or 7 o'clock and if you do this you're going to see you're going to have a lot more people watching the video and then you're just going to click on create event but we're not quite done yet so what we're going to do is come back up here and we're going to customize layout you don't have to change anything here if you don't want to but you can go in here to your customized layout and you can edit it you can change the color schemes you can change the logos the register button the title uh, you can change what information you collect any other content you want on the page down here uh, promo video a thank you video you can save emails to a certain autoresponder you have set up all that is here for you to do um, let's just go back and then for email templates you can set up uh, the appearance of your emails and how they look and then you can also change the logos in the emails and for the event itself next is participants this is really neat this is something that I'm glad he integrated with this and it's a chat box and this chat box because you're you're doing a webinar a lot of people assume that they are live that they're really live events and if it's a reoccurring event and if the people always makes the same comments and the same answers it it, it doesn't look natural and so with this option you have the ability to turn this on or off so what you can do is you can set it up to full chat and what this will do is show everybody's chat to everybody so everybody can see everything posted or what I recommend you do is private chat and with private chat the only messages that the people can see who are on the webinar are their own messages and if you reply back to them or you can just turn the chat off completely you can also invite participants here and send them an invite or you can import a CSV file if you already have their email addresses and invite them straight to the webinar which is really cool okay this is the reminder emails I highly recommend that you set this up uh, you're going to select your autoresponder here that you set up in your settings and then you're going to go here and you're going to manage your emails and you can delete these if you want to or you can just go and edit the ones and what you would do is go in here let's just say you want to create a new one and we want to remind people 10 minutes before the webinar about it we can go in here and click 10 minutes you want to choose before webinar and then you're going to give it a subject add your content just to remind them about it and create it then what's going to happen is 10 minutes before that it's going to send the email out to them and say hey look reminder webinar is coming up and you can create several of those emails like that and what you can also do is do one after the webinar so maybe send one an hour after the webinar and what this is going to do maybe uh, submit a subject have a subject say thanks for attending the webinar did you pick up the discount and then in the content you would maybe offer them that discount price again in case they didn't pick it up to give them a chance to come back and buy it and you can maybe send out another one 24 hours later and then 36 hours later just to keep reminding them that products there and if they haven't picked it up yet they can still buy it because remember guys one sale of a high ticket product can earn you an easy 500 to a thousand dollars commissions and then under extras what you would do here is this is optional but you can put in a URL redirection and what this would do is redirect them to a different page after the webinars ended and so you can put that in here if you want to or just don't redirect the webinar will just end and that'll be it 
and here you're going to create custom buttons now this is neat this is a feature that's also available in every webinar that I use that I'm currently spending $500 a year for and what this does is you can create buttons in your settings and then you can come here and you can choose the buttons and then you can choose what time they will pop up in the chat box for all your participants so let's say 45 minutes into a webinar an offers made that says go here to buy this product well they don't know where to go because you haven't given them nothing so what you would do is you would say okay 45 minutes into the webinar I want this button to pop up here and I want it to stay until this long and this button has your affiliate link in it it pops up in their chat box they see it they click on it and they can go purchase it and you're gonna make the commission from it after all that's done you can click create event doesn't take very long especially if you use um, the webinars that are already included in here to get everything set up and once they're set up um, what you're going to do is come back here and under setup you're going to learn how to set up um, your thank you page and your landing page and your funnel for all that uh, and basically the reason you want to do this is to collect the leads collect the email addresses from all these people that you're sending from the paid traffic uh, to the webinar and they're going to come to your landing page first and you're going to collect their email addresses uh, you're going to send them to a thank you page and then they go to a webinar so that's basically the breakthrough or the breakdown of continuum and how it works uh, a great tool if you want to promote high ticket items if you want to get involved in youtube ads it's something that you can consider in doing the only downside to all this is that if you're going to use youtube ads then you need to know up front that you're that you should have some money set aside for it okay when i say money i'm talking about 500 to a thousand dollars or even more simply because it's going to cost you money to really see results especially if you want to promote high ticket items so this is continuum i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please like it subscribe to my channel and i will notify you of upcoming videos and remember below this video i'll put the link to my website where you can get more details about continuum the bonuses uh, the upsells the pricing and more details thanks